Alright, hey guys, it's me, Wiener, here we are back to the final part of Ratchet and Clank. Today, we're finally tackling Drek and destroying what's good. Or, wait, well, you know what I meant, probably. Doing what's right, saving the planet, saving our home planet, destroying him and his evil plans. Let's take care of this. Weapon of choice for the first phase is going to be the Tesla Claw. So let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Now keep in mind you can only lock onto him when he actually does this little attack here where you jump up a little soccer ball to explode. Because what's odd is that sometimes it doesn't actually lock onto him either. In this phase, it definitely doesn't lock onto him. In this phase though, we'll actually see little targets on the ground. Spoiler, those will actually hurt you. So you actually want to try to avoid those because that'll be more than this little hit. But in this phase, you guys keep jumping over him this way and do some damage. But I just messed up. But then after a while, he's going to blow up that and go into phase two. Phase two is not much harder than the first one. I'd recommend getting out the blaster. If you have the gold blaster, that's nice, but you can just use regular blaster too. Uh, sure, you might have some uh, Tesla claw left over, but I'd recommend saving that overall. I have to use the slingshot anyway, no problem. Let's just jump across these and deal with him over on the other side. Alright, what's up, Drek? I see you there waiting for me. You're toying with me at this point. You're toying with me. Another way, Blaster. Once you get the lock on, just keep firing. Damage does a lot to him. Pierce is not taking down ever so slightly. Thankfully, those little soccer balls actually end up destroying all of the enemies that are there on the ground. But then phase two is over. I mean, of course the gold blaster takes him out a lot easier, but the regular blaster will take him out just as well. A little bit, they'll use a little bit more ammo, but still, overall best plan. So yeah, so let's switch back to our swing shot one last time, and head over to those platforms you see over there to the left. And then we're just gonna enter into his final phase once you actually head over there. And let's see what happens. So, it has come to this. Once I step on this ignition switch, a countdown will commence. The end of which signals the destruction of your pitiful world. There must be another way to make a home for your people. You think that's what this is about? Who do you think polluted our last world? I did. This is about one thing and one thing only. Cash! And lots of it. You see... I've been paid for every square inch of my new world. Once the inhabitants move in, I will begin polluting this world as well. Then the whole thing starts all over again. Ah, brilliant. Why, you, you evil little... Save it, Clank. We have to stop that timer. So, yeah. That whole thing was a ruse. He's actually more evil than he originally thought. He destroyed his own home planet for money. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty bad, although considering, uh, and I'm not gonna get into government debates right now, but my gosh. Anyway, pretty much, just break that down and avoid all these guys and then run away. As you can tell, it even destroys his minions as well because he doesn't care about them, obviously. Keep in mind, that little thing on the edge is also a grind rail. But uh, I recommend not using that all too often. And uh, yeah, let's switch over to our uh, Tesla Claw real quick. Destroys all these. And at the same time, we destroy him as well. Ah, got a little too far away there. But yes, it's very good for destroying those little mines and also good for destroying him as well. But every so often he's going to actually certain amount of certain health, he's going to deploy another one of these. He'll wait for us to actually destroy and flap over. And he's going to chase us down yet again. He repeats his cycle about twice more. The final phase after he does that, he actually increases power a lot. But, either way, I'm running low on Tesla, so that's not good. But I just ran out. So, uh, Gold Procitor. Oh, 
However, keep in mind the gold processor is not very good for attacking him with because uh, it'll only hit on the ground, whereas he's pretty much always up in the air. So you pretty much have to jump up to him to actually hit him. However, it is very good for dealing with all those little minions like this. But not really so great for actually destroying you know, him. Hopefully getting all the blaster ammo everything will be good for it. So let's go ahead and get all the ammo we can. Prosider, Prosider, Blaster. Alright, we got the Blaster back. So let's keep on running away from these and we can switch over to our Blaster real quick. And... that. Alright, you don't scare me, pal. Not anymore. By the way, as you can tell, get ready. He's doing the whole thing again. And now he's going to his final phase here. Of course, just keep running away from him because he's going to keep on chasing you down with that little laser grid thing. So, uh... Ah, shoot, got hit. You got me, fool. You got me. A certain amount of health, he's gonna go into his final phase, in which case he stops messing around and starts getting really crazy. He's actually gonna be away from the outside and start shooting lasers at you. So, uh, yeah, you pretty much need to spend a lot of the actual match running away. Are you done with that phase? Alright. And then, you can start shooting him some more. Because he's gonna use a little missiles, but then one final time he's gonna launch down the button. But as you can tell, he also launches a bunch of little aerial things that keep following you and home in on you. So keep moving. It is not good otherwise to not do so. Alright. Devastator recommend. For this final part. Hopefully you save a lot of your Devastator ammo, because uh, otherwise, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Devastator ammo, definitely very helpful for this part here. Well, hold on, let me get the Prosseter out. Shoot! Nope. Dang it. Ah, shoot. Well, thankfully, you got the got Desify ammo. Uh-oh. Run. Yeah, trying to dodge all these little projectile things and his arm can at the same exact time, usually pretty bad. But, uh, just a little bit more. And you should be dead. What's up? You know, this time I am thinking what you're thinking. So yeah, thankfully, there's no time loot or anything. You just head over here. One last pow- One last power thrust? That would be better if I actually, you know, hit it. This can't be good. Phew, that was close. Uh, Clank, you can <laughs> pull us up now. The servos in my arm appear to be broken. Broken? As in fall to our deaths broken? Uh, yes. That was close. Thanks. 
My arm appears to be badly damaged. Ah, you'll be all right. to fix that arm. And that is Ratchet and Clank. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. And uh, I enjoyed the game for the most part, except for the minor quirks I already mentioned. But uh, I have to say, that vacation I took unintentionally actually was did wonders for me because honestly I was getting really frustrated with this game, like really, really badly, for the point it was actually painful for me to even play it. But uh, yeah, I'm actually glad I did this game. Playing it a second time, I definitely enjoyed it a lot more than I did the first time I played it. So especially doing all the extra stuff too, I thought that would be frustrating, but actually was I enjoyed it a lot. It was nice to be able to do something different from what I normally do all the time. But uh, I can guarantee my next thing I'm going to be doing is going to be more in line with my usual content of uh, happy-go-lucky whatever stuff. It's it's, it's just going to be something I'm sure you guys will enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this wasn't exactly the most popular Let's Play I did on my channel. In fact, it probably got less views than mostly anything else on my channel. But overall, it was fun doing this game, and I'm glad I got to do it. Uh, once again, congratulations MJC for actually winning that contest, be able to choose this LP. Hopefully, maybe sometime later down the road, I could maybe even do another Let's Play of this in case someone's interested. But yeah, overall, it was enjoyable. Of course, there's still a little bit to show off after the credits roll. But as it stands, that's everything there is. We have all the gold bolts. We have all the uh, skill points. We have everything we need in the game. Everything's being, we defeated Drek, and that final boss too was pretty good. And first time I played this game, it it destroyed me, and it was absolutely frustrating. But the thing is, I probably would have liked the boss a lot better if it actually had its own music, which I think it was supposed to, but just glitched out of actually having, which is odd. But regardless, I just, the whole game as a whole, I really enjoyed. Now, it's not as colorful as some Nintendo games. I mean, there is colors and stuff, but you can definitely tell, even the thumbnails I have, the game overall just has like a dark vibe to it. I don't know, it doesn't look as bright and vivid as some of those Nintendo games, but it is, it is a Sony game, so I don't expect it to. And also, I noticed the physics in this game are very similar, if not exact, to that those in the Opposite Darkest Fairy. Same with the glitches. So therefore, I was really in the wrong of just this uh, crediting the like, Neopets of Darkest Fairy because maybe just all Sony platformers play that way. Because uh, this game really seemed like it took a lot of uh, inspiration from that game. But that's this isn't about this. This is about Ratchet and Clank. Once again, this game is pretty much right up my alley in terms of games to play. It's fun. It's sci-fi. It's lighthearted. It's colorful. It's overall just fun, and I enjoy that. But anyway, at the end of the credits, there's one last little cutscene to happen. Do you have a problem with unwanted hair? Is painful itching in your nether regions causing you undue embarrassment? Do you just plain stink? Then you need this! The Gadgetron Personal Hygienator! Hi, I'm Steve... McQuark. And this little baby can take care of any grooming needs that are just too much trouble for you to handle yourself. Allow me to demonstrate. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, mommy. Turn it off! Turn it off! Five of ten gold weapons. Of course, I couldn't get the other five until I actually start a new game. Start a new game with game with current weapons and bolts. Let's go in and do that. It'll save all the progress we have. And then, of course, it'll go through this whole thing again. 
I'm trying to figure out why it actually changed my controls as I started a new game. That doesn't really make much sense. It changes back to the way I wanted before I had it. I think it would take, save the settings. By the way, you'll notice a goodies option here. Uh, pretty much, if you actually unlock all the actual bolts in the game, or actually all the skill points rather, you'll actually unlock the epilogue. This here is pretty much get, well, gotten for getting all the skill points in the game. So let's go ahead and watch that. See what happened after Jack's defeat. I actually never watched this, honestly, so I'll be going into this blind. Oh wait, is this uh... Oh, it's just reading stuff. I thought it was going to be an actual movie. I thought it thought it was a movie. Whatever. Let's go ahead and just read this anyway. Let's see, where did it start, even? Uh... I think it started at the... Let's see... This one? Yeah, let's see. Robot of the Year. Clank saved us all. Reader digested. How long is your... When? How long is your wrench? Which... Oh, this game seriously has all the types of innuendos and stuff. Actually, especially the later games. But, uh... And a B-Void ate her, and now she's in love. The real Gar Times. Mino Salesman pleads not guilty. <laughs> Uh, the false native case of brother turned into a chicken. Let's see. Battalia Chronicles. Lone commando wins war, or so he says. Reinforcements have arrived. What took them so long? Outpost X11 updates. Hover border. The best man way to a man's heart is through his rib cage. Z400 sneak peek killer combos, backbreaking moves, zoom raider giveaway, free stuff for only two ninety nine. House kid gets his extra attitude. Homes and bunkers. The official guide to the Umbra system. Bing seizes Quark Estate auction begins now. New sectors, East Doom, Bree, blah, blah, blah. Roger and Clink, the motion picture. Oh. <laughs> hot, hot bots. Where's the gears for the best looper? Are you serious? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. This, this game. Wow. I, um... I, I, yeah. Natalis, Ratchet, the furry mechanic who created a panic. Deadly gadgets. I was on reverse. Face track tragedy claims five robots. Nosy news. Washed up. I'll do anything for a few bolts. Quark. Candid photos inside. The truth is Skid is hooked on... What? Skid hooked on Nano. Robot caught in the act. Ratchet's love interest. Shocking news about Trek. The race was fixed. Heavy artillery. More for Ray ends galactic hunger. Gadgets of tomorrow, latest invention innovations. Visit my review, top ten weapons, Gadgetron Con. Think you could handle the rhino? P popular plumbers. Will plumbing ever be the same? The water worker asks the same question every day. A true story. I saved the galaxy from an evil mutated strain of dry rot. I kid you not. And of course it just goes through all that. Alright, well those are actually kind of funny to see, actually. Those are pretty enjoyable. Uh, now we just need the other gold bolts in the game. If I'm not mistaken, the other gold bolts are actually on the first planet of a game, if I'm not mistaken. Give me a second to double check that. And if they are, I'll need to go to the tutorial level first, before I actually do anything. So, doing that, let's see here. Quick select. I will just run through the rhino and just destroy everything in my sight at that point. So, uh, I'll see you wherever I find the warp pad. Alright, so right here are Novalis, right at the very beginning of the game. But, where the crap is my ship? Wait, I didn't get a ship yet. That's right. By the way, you go here on the warp pad and. What? Oh, it didn't even prompt. But, by the way, you'll see where you can get all the other gold weapons in the game. Buy the Mind Glove for 10,000 volts and 4 gold volts. Why not? So you just... Lay more mines that explode when you get near them. So, yeah, that's something. I never even used the main weapon. The Gold Tesla Cop. I'm going to save that one for last. That one's boss. Devastator. Let's see here. Oh, uh, let's do the Morpho Ray. So pretty much, it could turn, oops, it has a wider range, longer range, and actually turns into chickens quicker, so that's nice. Here we have the gold decoy glove, I'm honestly not sure what this one really does, is to play more decoys. Oh, that's right, it actually attacks back, that's what it does. 
it actually attacks back after you attack them. So that's kind of interesting. All right, let's see what else we got here. The Devastator, the Gold Devastator. Let's attack our target here real quick. Pretty much after it destroys, after it explodes, it keeps ricocheting and bouncing off, which is actually quite nice. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But my favorite weapon is definitely the Gold Tesla Claw. This thing is a beast. Let's go, uh... And look, you have earned a trophy. And we now have the Platinum Trophy for Ratchet and Clank. Gadget Master. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and check out the Tesla Claw. Look at that. It is so awesome. It can destroy a chain of, like, three people at the same time. And it's so powerful. What? Oh, I didn't have enough ammo for it. Dang it. Oh, well. Whatever. It's awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Another thing you should know of too when you start a new game, the actual bolt multiplier is times by two. So you actually get twice as many bolts as you would normally. So uh, that's kind of interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much everything there is to show off in the game. We now showed off everything. So next time in, well, ever, you'll see me doing my next Let's Play, which is going to be, uh, it, well, like I said, it's going to be cute, cuddly, and be colorful. Hope you guys enjoy it. And of course, that's going to be... Good Game!